Creating a new world, block by block. Minecraft is an echo of what Dundee wants. A video game redesigning landscapes, developed in a place longing for the same powers. Mind you again! <laughs> Dubbed the Yes City in the 2014 Scottish independence referendum, this gaming capital is expectant once more. I think Dundee, the vote that you saw in Dundee, reflects the outward-looking nature of the population here. The fact that we do feel um, a bit different even in Scotland. You know, we feel we're on the cusp of something quite special, um, and we don't want that to be uh, that opportunity to be missed. Chris says Dundee's part of a global gaming industry, often paid in dollars, euros and Japanese yen. But the city's come a long way from its history of jute mills and famous jams of the 19th century. Famous, in fact, for the three J's, jam, jute and journalism. DC Thompson is a major employer, publishers of the Beano and Dandy. Creative industry is, in fact, an integral part of the identity here. Its outward looks perhaps given confidence to people like Lois to now want something different. We just opened a business a couple of months ago. We are about to have another baby welcome that. And so for the future, for Scotland's future, I'd like to be given the choice that, that we can exercise the right to, to decide what we want for our future. Historically working class, Dundee's still home to some of the country's most deprived areas, with a pervasive generational divide growing. For those like Alan, a staunch unionist, the antagonism of a future referendum is feared. The last time was really nasty. There was a lot of physical uh, intimidation and fighting them. What is it about Dundee that makes it dubbed the Yes City? Probably a hardcore Labour lefty uh, background. For decades, Labour was... A, you could elect a tree stump in Dundee on a Labour ticket. An Alsatian dog would have sailed into the city chambers. And now it's all SNP. Everywhere is SNP. For the modern Dundee, the way ahead's as yet unclear. How this city will look in a decade depends on its people. Adele Robinson, Sky News, Dundee.